We're working very much on the of the agency of the of the here and now, and it's fairly safe to say that there's not there's never been a more challenging time for agencies to succeed and thrive. So there's a couple of things that we think about. Understand the marketplace context in which we're operating. Our most precious asset, which is our people. We're in a service business, so understanding talent, how to attract them, how to keep them motivated, train them. Uh, we have to understand how to use technology and data and automation. We have to double down on trust and transparency, which has never been more uh, omnipresent. Uh, and we have to be um, really cognizant of uh, the changes in uh, media habits. We think we're doing a really good job of that at Magna and at uh, Interpublic Group. We are very, very excited to take on the next three to five years. We look at a horizon of 2020 as the agency of the future. Much further than that, it'd be hard to predict. So we keep up with the new technology a couple ways. Uh, number one, at Magna, we have a whole group of folks that do nothing but uh, study the market and predict where the market is going. We have something called Magna Intelligence, and we, uh, we do that for 72 markets around the world. So it's not just what's the here and now. Where do we think television usage is, OTT usage, uh, mobile usage is going to be for 72 markets around the world. We have an inflation report. We also have the IPG Media Lab. Uh, we think about uh, new technologies uh, and test them uh, on behalf of our clients. We have a media trials program that is a collaboration between the lab and Magna. So there's no shortage of things that we have uh, that keep us uh, with the, our pulse on what's going on today and what's happening uh, in the future. Is TV dying? That's a great question. I love that very much. No, uh, I, I think that the, the way that we have consumed television historically is fading away. The idea of linear television that has a program grid on at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. and the family sits down in a leave it to beaver kind of way on the couch and watches what's going on, that is dying. The, the content that television producers are creating is being consumed in many, many more places than it ever has been before. Mobile devices, OTT, Roku, Apple TV, many more competitors, Netflix, Hulu, uh, etc. The way that we have defined TV historically, linear television is definitely changing. I think uh, dying might be a little bit of a uh, strong word, but there is no doubt that the video consumption paradigm is changing dramatically. We're very, very interested in staying on the, our front foot and, um, and really pushing the market. We made a pretty significant shift of television dollars out of linear television into uh, Google Preferred or YouTube. The $250 million deal and an acknowledgement of as we were just talking about, the changing habits of consumers. They are not consuming necessarily in the same way that they have. So that was a very successful uh, endeavor that we did uh, last year. Uh, and we're continuing that kind of drumbeat. Where do we think eyeballs are going? Where are consumers' attention spans going? They're going to OTT devices. Many OTT devices, as we all know, is, are not ad-supported. Uh, Roku was one of the partners that uh, is a large OTT player, is ad-supported, is going to share with us some data that will give us some unique insight. And our clients are really, really excited um, to bring that to the market. Well, the deal with Roku is, uh, has many different components, as you would imagine. There's, a, um, there's obviously some, an efficiency component to that. So uh, any client in our uh, stable that, that runs on the Roku platform will, ex will enjoy a discount from what they have done in the past. Uh, the most exciting thing to me is uh, probably two things. One, as a result of this uh, partnership, we have the ability to alpha and beta test before uh, things are released to the market, whether that's new ad formats, ad products, usage of data, importing clients' first-party data, lots of things in the alpha and beta space, which I'm personally very excited about because I always like testing and trialing new things. On top of that, uh, we have a data relationship that we're going to, um, that we have embarked on that's going to fuel our planning tools. One of the greatest challenges that we have in the agency business is that from a strategy and planning perspective, the tools necessarily haven't caught up with uh, the speed with which consumers are changing. So when we think about budget allocation as an example, OTT wasn't a category, so we need to ingest some really good uh, data into our planning tools to allow us to allocate budgets accordingly. And the Roku relationship will allow us to do that. So uh, transparency and fraud, uh, viewability, piracy, uh, privacy, all these things are, are items that we have been um, leading the way for our clients over the past couple of years. We have an initiative called Project Quality. Project Quality is all about, A, education, because I think there's a lot of misinformation. Uh, there's a lot of um, 
we jump to conclusions that this is bad or this is good. The sky isn't falling. The world isn't ending. I think we need to be smart about the partners that we get into bed with, the third parties that we use to verify that how we're spending our clients' money is verified for human beings, it's being seen, all, all that kind of stuff is what we believe to be just the blocking and tackling. That is the basic cost of entry uh, to playing in the, in the digital space today. Uh, we have not seen um, a big pullback in terms of digital spend. Our clients' digital spends have gone up, doubling down or re, uh, reinvesting in television, and that's fine. I think that there are categories of clients, categories of products and services that that might work for, but we're not, we're not seeing that across our client base. Why is being at GabCon important to the industry? I would say there is no doubt that audience-based buying is uh, indicative of the way that the business is heading. For years, for 60 years, we have been uh, ruthlessly focused on context. I need to be in a premiere, I need to be in a finale, I need to be in this content or that content. And while that is still important, the world that we live in today is far more data rich. So understanding the right person in the right context is where the sweet spot happens. Uh, my hope for us and for the industry is that we start illuminating and talking about some of the challenges that we have. I think we're all in the, in the same boat together. We could start coming up with some solutions.